What's up, world? Welcome back to another episode of Clark Crew Reviews. It's your boy Donovan. If you can't tell by how soft I'm talking, it's another school night. Some of my crew members are in bed, so I'm rolling solo. But uh, the wife and I went and seen Rampage yesterday. And it was exactly what I expected. With with those types of movies, I don't, what I mean by those types is like the action, tearing shit up type movies like Rampage was. Just the city is getting destroyed type stuff, okay? I don't go into those movies looking for an over exacerbated plot or some huge plot twist or real in-depth character development okay i don't go into it i go into those with the expectation like hey stuff's gonna be blown up toned up destroyed there's gonna be some cussing some sarcasm, some witty comebacks, and some mighty fine one-liners. That's it. And what was that? Like, it was cool. It was cool. I give Rampage a solid B. You should go see it. You should go see it. It's worth going to the movie theater to see. Like, I enjoyed myself. You know, it had some moments what made you go, ooh, no, oh man. Like it had some of those moments, you know. But uh, the CGI was pretty cool. There's a couple moments of CGI where you can tell that they saved the money for other moments in the movie. What I mean by that is that it didn't look very good. There's two moments in particular you'll know them when you see them. I don't want to get any spoilers out, okay? But, uh, I mean, The Rock was his... He was normal Dwayne Johnson, you know? Charismatic, you know? Try to make him look a little sexy, you know? Got people hitting on him, or females hitting on him, you know? Sarcasm. It was, it was The Rock. It's, it's what you typically get with The Rock. What does make me nervous about The Rock is that, or Dwayne Johnson, whatever moniker he prefers, is that sometimes his solo movies make me nervous. Because I've said this before, is that I feel that Dwayne Johnson is at his best when he's feeding off the energy of other actors. But Rampage was good. He did fine. It was set up perfect for him. Wasn't too much depth, wasn't too much range. He's played the same way throughout. Kind of like everybody else said, um, I'm a fan of George. Anytime there's like a monkey in a movie or a gorilla, like they always, am I tripping or do they make that animal have some type of bond with the human lead? Like, you know, he had George, he couldn't have rescued the wolf and had a relationship with the wolf, you know? It just maybe maybe gorillas are just easier because he could he teaches them sign language maybe that's why but I mean dogs wolves aren't those man's best friend I just I'm just something that just did, I just thought of like they always make the the the, the primate the best friend of the lead actor whatever George was cool he looked sweet as an albino <gasps> and he was a smart ass too which was funny uh huh. But no, man, the action was good. The action was good. They got to do a sequel because it's what it had a $120 million budget, and I think it's almost a $200 million worldwide already. They'll probably do a sequel. They'll definitely do a sequel. I'm curious. Uh, the wife and I had a debate about what animals they would use in a sequel. I said shark, but the shark can't come on land. What they do, mutations. She said snake, but I was like, a giant snake would be terrible because how they gonna stop it? Like, George will get destroyed by a giant snake. 
You gotta have something that can fly, like a, a hawk or something like that. And she said a lion, and I countered with a tiger. Either one, right? She said bear, but when a bear and gorilla kind of be similar terrestrial animals, just the idea for the sequel. In case you needed help, directors, producers, and writers, I'm here for you, okay? But, nah, man, uh, I don't want to give nothing away. It's about an hour and a half long, a little less than an hour and a half if you take credits away. They get straight to the story, you know, instantly. And, you know, Rock is his normal self, and the, the CGI fight scenes at the end, they're tearing everything up, tearing shit up, for real. Uh, it was good, man. It was good. The fight scenes look good. Oh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan. He was, he's pretty much Negan. If you watch Walking Dead, he was basically Negan. Because he doesn't act like that in the movie. He, he always got a little swag and a little smirk to him, but just the hand movements and things like that, he was basically Negan. So, but I give Rampage a solid B. If y'all got a couple hours out your day and you want to spend some money, Go watch Rampage after you watch The Quiet Place, A Quiet Place, all right? Let me know what you guys think of my new watermark font, all right? I changed it up, tried with a different program, like I told you before, this is an evolving process. Let me know what you think about the font, all right? I think it looks pretty cool. While you're here, uh, if you enjoyed my review of Rampage, like the video, share the video, and don't forget to hit that hit that subscribe button, okay? Game recognized game. If you subscribe to us and I get the notification, I would definitely subscribe back to you, all right? Until next time, y'all be easy. Peace.